Hello, this is Abdul Fasal Munir. In this session of my QuickBooks training, we are going to look into how to enter batch transactions. You can use that same method for batch transaction or how to manually import lots and lots of transactions from the bank statement. So, in summary, how to import a bank statement into QuickBooks Desktop. That is, if you're not using the bank feed, if you're not using the bank feed, this bank feed here in QuickBooks, uh, you need to import your transaction from the bank or your bank statement into QuickBooks manually. But of course, the reason why you are doing that is because you have those information, lots of those information, hundreds and thousands of this information on your bank statement. So over here, we have. Uh, so a sample of a bank statement will have a date description deposit withdrawal balance definitely your bank statement might be different from what you see here maybe it might be uh, uh, the deposit and withdrawal might be different uh, the balance description there might be additional uh, uh, columns so but the major thing is you have to format that you have to make sure they are in this order or you have date description deposit withdrawal not necessarily the balance might not really work with the balance okay so the first thing you have to do when you go to quickbooks is to make sure you have uh, an account income account and expense account you are going to create an income account to import all the deposits now you have the much deposit you have plenty of the withdrawals so you don't want to start uh, identifying the name except if you can identify the account maybe maybe this uh, account transfer in is for uh, maybe you have different uh, lines of revenue different source of revenue maybe this one is for rental re rental income maybe this one is for uh, your normal sales uh, uh, business uh, sales Maybe this one is for as you can see we say business loan so if you want to have that time if you have that time to if you can identify them one after the other but definitely you won't because that is the essence of importing you want to actually import them then after you import you do the classification okay so similarly for the withdrawal aspects we are going to use in expenses to take care of withdrawal use uh, income to take care of deposit then thereafter afterwards we now reclassify to their proper account okay so let me go to chart of account you can click on ctrl a on your keyboard or you go to list and chart of account here so i'm going to create an income account as an income and i'm going to create an expense account as an so this is what i mean i'll select income type then i'll name it income okay i just want to have this or you can just uh income imported i don't know income import oh, that's fair. income import and um, i just have it that way to differentiate it from the other so i'm going to do save and new this time around i'm going to select expense okay so i'll call this expense import you can have the you can have uh your way you can know how to actually define that better okay we have those two accounts i need so we are going to go to accountant remember you cannot do this if you don't have accountant enterprise solution so go to accountant then you select badge enter transaction so i'm going to go ahead and do that okay so now once we are in this place the next thing you have to do is to format your window mm, your yeah of course this window now you see here over here we have customized column there are lots of columns that were here i had to move them to this place to just have it the, in the manner in which uh my uh my exe is okay so that i can just easily copy and paste but in this case i see we have uh dates we have amount so uh we have um memo which is description and we have account so this account is fixed here so uh, now i will just do, go here i need the memo to come before the amount whether deposit or withdraw because we're going to enter them one after the other okay so 
I'll click on memo, then I'll move up. I think that settles that. So I want to have memo first before the amount. Then the account I'm going to select from here. Okay, so now let's go back to uh, the Excel sheet. So now we have to undo one after the other. From up here, you see we have check. So let me deal with checks first. Now you have to select the correct bank statement. If it is not any bank, if it is a uh, first bank, you create new, you add that first bank uh, here because it is in this first bank. We want to actually import this transaction from uh, the statement. Okay, so now we we'll go to Excel. Now we have to the the thing I usually do once we have it like this, I just insert it in table. Okay, let me insert in table so that I have a header and the drop down of filter. Or if you like, you can manually uh, enter that. Okay, so now I have once since I want to work with withdrawals, it means I need the this empty place to um I, I need to select the empty place alone from my deposit so that the withdrawal aspect will show. So I hope we have the blank. Okay, we have blank. So I'm going to select this first of all. And I click on blank so blank we only bring blank of deposits definitely blank of deposits signifies withdrawal okay so when I click OK I only have my withdrawal here and I have my date set my description deposit is out of course so what I can do I can actually hide these because I want to just copy them once once and for all I can just hide this I don't need this actually so I can decide to leave it or uh, delete it. It won't affect what I need, but if you still need it for uh, a proper uh, whatever it is, the balance check or something, so you have, you leave it there. Okay, let's try something. So let's say we do this, and then commit. Okay, I've hidden. We've hidden the deposit aspect. Okay, let me just go ahead and delete that. Now I have I only need the date, description, and withdraw. So I'm going to select from here down to this place. Here, from here down to this place. So I right click and copy. Okay, once I copy, I go to my uh, QuickBooks. I'll select this place and Control V. Or you right click and paste. Now you to paste in according to how you have it in Excel. You see that's the reason why I have to bring my memo before the amount. So memo is a description, then the amount, just like we have it here in Excel. So it's good, and this is checks. We are correct. Okay. Now the required field is expense, the one I created earlier. So I want to have it expense import. Uh, you can see we even have one expense here. So it's good. I identify with what uh, it is. So I can right click on that and copy down so as to have all in expense import okay so once i'm done with that i go ahead and save the transaction now you see once i open uh okay for more i think maybe we'll have a transaction is any bank so let me just use another bank so let me use um premium premium trust bank premium trust bank this way okay so i save and close now I need it to be in premium safe uh, trust bank. Okay, so I go ahead and save the transaction. It still checks. Check means withdrawal. Check can be any payment as far as it goes out of the bank. That is what check means in QuickBooks. So 20 transactions have been saved. But now if you want to confirm that, you can quickly go to the list uh, chart of account. You see now we have premium trust bank with this amount, a negative 112. Uh, thousand five hundred twenty nine uh, ninety nine cents. Okay, so now you can double click on that to see a register on whatever it is you've imported. Now you can see everything is uh, fine, is is properly entered into QuickBooks. So we'll go ahead to the same batch transaction. Now we want to select deposits. So you see not just deposit and checks you can actually import or uh, enter batch transactions for credit card charges and credit bill and bill credit then invoice and credit uh, memos now 
Bill and B credit signifies your purchases on credits that you've made on credit. Definitely, if you make purchases on credit, you don't expect to see it here in checks and yeah, uh, in checks. Then bill credit is like whatever it is that you do to it will be like a refund to against that bill, which will reduce your indebtedness to your supplier. Similarly, for the invoices and credit memo, you don't need uh, to use deposit because they are not uh, performed in cash and cash they are on credit so that is why you have them set. so uh, invariably you can actually import your invoices you can actually import your invoices and actually import your bills that you hold and invoice that you are hold okay so let's just leave it to deposit now because we want to add the deposit hello now you see we have a receipt from an account from an amount so but here in excel i only have so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and bring that out okay then let me just click somewhere else to okay now uh i will filter it again this time around i'll select all then okay so i will now do similar to this i'll do that and select just a blank so that i will have my deposit alone so i only have here like for the position so i don't have to hide and withdraw it because i can just copy from here to here so there's no need for that okay so once i'm done with that i will copy but before we paste we have to uh, uh, arrange this in that order okay so i'm going to go ahead and customize the column we have date we have memo we have amount which is correct now the receive from is the customer that you are receiving or the client that you are receiving this payment from okay so since we want to do the classification later uh or uh we want to do that we want to handle this matter later but if you have the names of the people you receive this payment from you can actually indicate them here then here we no longer or you have additional column where you have the receipt from so it means you have to create them as a customer in quickbooks or else it won't recognize that so you have to create them as customer similarly for the uh checks the expenses that we just imported if you have the names of the supplier or the vendors uh in respect to each transaction you can just leave them uh you can actually add them here then you import them that will that will save you uh, for st going back to the expenses and the deposits to identify them with their uh, supplier or the customer okay with that it's easy but since you have this lot of transaction in your bank statement we just want to quickly import these things then have them ready in quickbooks to then there afterward we can now uh, class uh, properly classify them to the account head to the account head then go back to each uh transaction maybe the register we'll go to the register and now select the suppliers the vendors and here something like this okay let me save this i have to remove this receipt from the account form is okay you have to go to the register here like premium trust you select this you can see there is a space for payee this is for pay so you're gonna go you are selecting the person uh the pay the vendor from this end since this is expenses so when it comes to deposit now you're gonna have option also for both customer and vendor but definitely you are selecting the customer or there are some cases where you have a return payment a refund which is also coming from the vendor so whichever you can have that settled in your register by their payee and this is very very important so that you can actually generate a report a quick report let me show you what quick report means so let me go to customer center then if i want to see the transactions i have with this customer or even customize my report from the other hand you see this you can also see the shot here then you right click i think quick report you see uh everything that you've done with this uh particular customer okay so let's go to the next uh batch transaction now i've the, uh, design this to what I need so I'm going to select the first page here the first uh, column here then I control V or let me just, just right click and paste now you see we just have the three 
uh, trans uh, for transaction in okay then I will have these and select it to income import then I'll copy this down if it's much so that I don't have to select it one after the other so once this is done you uh, double check we have premium trust bank we have deposit so I'm gonna go ahead and save this transaction after saving the transaction you see we have four transactions have been saved now I will go to the premium trust bank and I'll scroll down and up you see we have one deposit here now from here you can select the payee or whichever person that is responsible for that transaction similarly for this so let's scroll up and see you can see we have a 500,000 deposit income then 10,000 deposits okay with this we can actually go to report uh, let's try company and financial profit and loss now from here we're going to see our income and uh, expenses so let me select the uh, let me see the date <clears throat> date is April okay let me select that and do all dates so that we can see this transaction here too okay so you can see we have income ex import and expense import so now we have to go ahead and reclassify this transaction properly so that we have a proper report in our quickbooks so now watch out for that in my next video where we're going to do reclassification whether after you've imported or anyway you just want to reclassify as an accountant you just came to uh you are you you are, you are being hired or employed as an accountant and your 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 client uh did a lot of work and you actually go there every month or every two months to run their books or have accounts so in that case they might actually be posted to some accounts maybe they've classified many trans maybe stationary maybe printing and uh, printing and stationary maybe maintenance and the rent expenses like that boom it might be posted wrongly you can still use a method to reclassify the transaction please subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos share my videos and turn on your notification so that you get notified whenever i make a new video see you guys in my next uh, class of reclassification and have a wonderful day bye